Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Duke Nukem 3D. Duke it out in DC, I'm Ultima Mantoid. As you approach this garage door, uh, it will open and it will reveal two sentry, uh, uh, sentry cannons and a pig cop. Just shoot them. You can play uh, safe right here. And just do that. Make sure you shoot the trash cans because they do hold valuable things. Make sure you drop down this dumpster thing and pick up your uh, pipe bombs. Now, where those sentry cannons were, there was a chain gun cannon, so... Shoot these fans out. You'll be coming back to them later. Now, get your shotgun ready. And get ready to start shooting, because you're going to get a massive influx of enemies from above. And make sure you get a pipe bomb and just... Blow it up over top of that cover. Come get some. And make sure not to fall in it yet either. So I mean you've got everything you need to stock up in this area, so this fence here, you can jump over it. Take the elevator up. And you get a shrinker and your first secret. And you get a fantastic view of the Capitol building here. Which, for some reason, has a hole in the top of it. And is on fire. And, um... Probably the, uh, the best, uh... That the Capitol has ever been, actually, because it's empty. We don't have knuckleheads in there. Those explosions will not stop, just letting you know. You want to trigger that explosion so that you can get in here. And using the urinal is actually a, a good idea to regain your health right there. I still don't know what that exp uh, what that noise is for. So, that's, that's like, I don't know. It just uh, kind of goes off. But the explosions don't stop, so you want to just keep moving. Also be careful because there is one that comes from this side. Jump across, pick up your first key, which is the yellow key. Also jump back here. Yeah, this uh, cabinet room here. I'll use the... yeah. You can see it a little bit better. Anyway, they give us the portable medikit for a reason. Pipe bombs are so useful in this level. So check this out. You run right in, right? And then you're like, oh, there's some guys. And then you throw a pipe bomb. And they get hurt. A lot. Pipe bombs are, well, I probably didn't need to pick that medikit up. There's a uh, box of shells if you need them. So. Now, here is where the House of Representatives is. Get uh, pipe bombs and get ready. And then when you feel comfortable, start uh, just chain gunning everybody down. And it's that simple, really. Because, and I, I advise using the chain gun for the specific reason that you can refill the chain gun. Uh, or at least refill the ammo for it. Again, get your pipe bombs ready. Yep, that's how easy that is. Now right here is actually two secrets. Your first one is right here in this uh, sort of shaded place. And then as you step out into the main lit area, yeah, it's two secrets for some reason. Maybe they accidentally tagged one of them or they were meaning to untag one, but... Anyways, that Devastator is your fourth secret, by the way. 
This place has a terrible case of explosions. Alright, grab your shrinker here. Come around here and stand right here. You can go ahead and grab the key card and the ammo for the Devastator. But you're going to want to stand and face this direction. And keep an eye on both sides at the same time. Because that can happen. Also, there is nothing in here. I've tried to go up the elevator. But, just to show it off. If you clip through this wall. Get a guilty verdict. Or a guilty sign. And every dancing babe in the game is here. And it's really red. Anyways, we are leaving. That was fun to show off. This guy can get wise and walk around the corner. He usually won't. That's why I advise just standing where you do. Um, since we won't be coming back here. And then, get a pipe bomb ready. They give you one right there on the floor. Specifically because of that. Get your RPG ready because you're going to start firing at everything. Damn, I'm good. Holy shit. Yes, Duke took the words right out of my mouth. Back here is the access card. Down here is some uh, radiation protection boots. Here's another uh, portable health kit. And make sure you keep an ear out. Because you don't want to leave any of those protozoid slimers alive. But with the red key in hand, uh, grab your chain gun and just make your way back out. The same way you came in, through the sewers. Let go, thank you. And once you're back out to the surface, you remember how I said we were going to come back to this thing? Well, take the jetpack up to the top, you get a Devastator. Yeah. That's the whole level. I mean, this is not a long level at all. And that's everything for Capital Punishment. It's kind of nice that they take you underground to explore the actual Capitol building where you have the Senate and the House of Representatives. It's kind of neat. I don't know if that's the interior. I'm sure it's a much more complicated building than that. Uh, but they give you a, a good idea. Um, I mean, it gives you that sense of location. So... It's not as difficult a map I mean, one of the hardest things about this map is just navigating fire. That's literally one of the hardest things about this map. Navigating fire. As you go through the level, you're going to take fire damage. Um, at least at the, about the halfway point of the map or so. And chain gunners, like the... Uh, you're going to get bombarded with chain gun fire a lot too. I forgot to mention that. One thing I do want to point out about this expansion pack that so far, the difficulty of the map has not been based upon if there's a battle lord or not. And that's very refreshing because all of episode 3, the difficulty of it is literally based on if there's a battle lord in the map. It's like, oh, well, this map isn't that bad. There's no battle lord. Oh, well, this map is hard. There's a battle lord. There's three battle lords. It's really hard. That kind of thing. And that sort of gives you like a basis for a false sense of difficulty this map uh, like these maps have been you know somewhat lengthy complicated lots of uh, pig cops and assault commanders you know in in really good places and uh, enforcers in really good places so but anyways yeah overall capital punishment it's not a long map you're gonna be through it fairly quickly uh, the hardest part is just finding the secrets. They're actually kind of hidden really well. So I will see you guys in the next level, which is called Metro Mayhem. I'm Ultima Mantoid, and I will see you guys next time on... Yeah, I can't talk. Let's try that again. Uh, I'll be back again with another episode of Duke Nukem 3D. Do get out in DC. So I'll see you there. Yeah. Awkward...
video ending is awkward.